Welcome back to Ravenport on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 6 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right, I'm back at it again <sighs> with more craziness, I would imagine. Um, as you've already seen from the time lapse, the field has now been culti ploughed, um, so that's good to go. I'm going to have to lease a plough to extend the field, cut down a few of the trees and whatnot. But because I did field work and I took the potatoes out there in the last episode, um, I'm not going to do any work on that field. <laughs> In this episode, what I am going to do is work on the next harebrain scheme for how I can possibly make some extra cash. Now, what I have done is just hooked up to these two. Thank you to everybody who commented. Everybody who commented to say. Um, if I go into my menu for my trailers, my, tip, my, my tippers, you'd think that would be a clue, wouldn't it? Um, when I went to sell the potatoes, I had, had it on tip side back. And I had loads of people commented to say, why don't you just put them on tip side left or tip side right? Then you could have done them both at the same time. I'll get my coat. Um, it didn't even dawn on me. Did not cross my mind for one second. Oh yeah, change the tip side. I, I don't know why. It just didn't. So uh, yeah, thanks for everyone that commented. Uh, it's, it seems so obvious now, yet uh, just didn't even dawn on me. Now, I have a couple of options available to me. That might be the wrong trailer I did. Oh no, it's the right one. Um, and here they are. I'm going to do silage in this episode to make some money. How much money I'm going to make? Again, I don't know. It could be anything, couldn't it, really? Judging by what's been happening recently. Um, and what I'm going to do is this. If I go into this menu here, under placeables, we've got our silos, and we have got... Um, right. Bunker silo medium, bunker silo large. Anyway, I could pick one of those. And here's the thing, I'm just going to show you something very, very quickly. I'm in completely the wrong place, but if I whiz very, very quickly over to the farm, or my plot of land anyway, where my plot of land is, if I come right up over here, and I just realise what I need to do very quickly, let's put the menu back on, because you're going to need that, so we can see how much it's going to actually cost us. So let's try that again. 
Um, got to be careful I don't actually place it. So with a bit of fiddling around here, this grid snapping, if I press L1, if I turn that to one side, zoom in a little bit, if I press L1, it gives you that option. It says, um, with the right stick, change placement height. If you change the placement height, it will adjust the cost as well. So this is one of those things where you can actually try and hopefully, if I bring it down, that's gone up in price to 34,000 to bring that down. Considering that's going to cost 25,000 to buy, it's only going to cost me 26,010 to place it there. So that's for the B, the medium bunker silo. So I could place it there for 26. I've had a bit of a fiddle around and to be honest with you, like off screen, that's the best place I'm going to get. So for 26 grand I can place that bunker silo. Fine, that's wonderful. And then I thought, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a mower, which I'm going to do anyway. Um, I'm going to get the Novacat 301 ED. It's 19 grand, but it means we can do mowing whenever we need to. So I think we're going to buy that. That's probably the best bet, isn't it? Yep. So we now own that. Wondrous. Now, to do a bunker silo, or in my head, to do a bunker silo uh, and put chaff in it to turn it into silage I need to cut grass collect it put it in there that's about the cheapest way I'm going to be able to do it fantastic I've got a bit of grass on my land but not a huge amount of grass on my land so my next option then is to go to um, loading wagons and the cheapest one there's 46 grand I don't really want to buy one but at least it's going to cost me 3,600 and something so you're looking at 26 grand to place the bunker silo I've bought the mower and then another three grand for that so you're looking at uh, what's that nearly 30 grand to do all of that and then there's the ferry and backwards and forwards which is fair enough okay so here's my next option what I thought was if I've got the mower if I go to bail-in technology and I lease the roll belt 150 which will cost me 3,900 so nearly 4,000 if I then lease, and I've, I've downloaded and installed off of the Mods Hub, the Ursus Z586, which is the round bale wrapper, that only costs 656 to lease. So I'm still just only over, just over four grand. Four and a half, knocking on five grand. And then to collect, I could use the Ursus. So I'm looking at about eight grand. About 8,000. I can cut a round bale, wrap and collect silage bales. Now, this hasn't got seasons, so I'm assuming as soon as you wrap those silage bales, they're silage, and I can sell them immediately to make money. If I put them in a bunker silo, I've got to wait for it to ferment. And this is a way, way cheaper option of doing it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with yeah I am this is what I'm going to do I'm going to lease the roll belt to start off with so let's lease that again this is I hope we're going to make the money back <laughs> I, I, you know we were on 149,000 I think to start off with now the next issue of course is where do I cut grass well I can start the cutting grass on my property because I've got some there but then this is where the, the field flipping idea comes in because a couple of people commented to say had you thought about the fact that while you are field flipping and doing a harvest on a field what about cutting all the grass on it and using the grass and that got me thinking well what if I just do the grass and not actually do the harvest you know I've just had my I've just been cut off midway through what I was saying this this is why people say I really do like you know your commentary and it's kind of more real when you leave in the bits where you make mistakes and stuff like that and when your kids are talking and the doors are squeaking and all the other things that are going on in my house you can tell it's the run up to Christmas because everybody in my house has decided rather than go out shopping let's do it all online and have it delivered dad's at home yeah and the problem is now I've been up and down to the front door about 95 times in the last 10 minutes do me head in anyway what I was going to say was if we go along to this menu here, I've kind of there, there are fields all over the place with grass around them. I thought this one here, very, very nice, quite close, pretty expensive, don't think I can borrow enough. But 
This one up here by the railroad silo west, that's all grass there. I mean, that's not so easily accessible, but this bit here, if we zoom right in, you can see that kind of curve in the ground. That's all grass. So, if I go to that menu and then that, I can do a big chunk there. That's 448 that's going to require. So if I go across to borrowing again, I need to go up to 448, so uh, let's borrow away, shall we? When I get to 448, or thereabouts... Actually, I'm just thinking, because I need to lease those other bits of equipment, aren't I? So I need to make sure I go over. Whatever I borrow, I'm going to pay back, so let's go to... I'll go to 460, that way I know I've covered myself. So now I go back to that menu. I have noticed, well, when you borrow money now, whereas before, on FS17, you would click on the thing to borrow money, and I think you had to click a button to accept. Now you do it, and it just... Automatically, the money's there. I mean, all you've got to do is just repay it immediately, but it is there. So, lands that one. Let's buy it. Okay, and let's see if this works. So, no, I didn't want to do that. Fold mower, thank you very much. Right, let's put that menu away. And let's go. So we'll head over there now. We're going to mow and bale, then we'll go over, we will wrap, then we'll collect. Now, because I don't own the BGA, I can take silage, um, and you can take bales to the barn. So I'm assuming if you can take bales and you can take silage, it will take silage bales. If it doesn't, this is another one of those catastrophic failures, um, in which case I'm going to have to wait till I can afford to buy the BGA, which is just, again, I've another huge outlay for nothing. That said, I've just bought a mower, so I can mow stuff. Um, but it should work. <sighs> yeah. Fingers crossed. And you absolute... <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> right between the two. I thought I was going to catapult my tractor in, you know, miles into the air. Uh, it might still do that when it raises now. We'll see, won't we? Please raise nicely. Don't there's a problem. <sighs> Couple of seconds earlier, later, and that would have hit me. Oh dear. Oh dear. You just hope things are going to go right, don't you? And Inevitably, 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 it doesn't. Right, here we are. So, I'm on the front. Let's unfold the mower first before I try and turn it on. Turn it on, drop it down. Rear, turn it on, drop down the pickup. And away we go. I'm going to try to utilise every grain, every stem, leaf, whatever you call them. I'm going to use every single one. Oh, we're going too far. How far does my excess extend? That wasn't that big. Really? Okay, it's so not as many bells as I thought I was going to get. Well, I'll get as many as I can. Anything I miss, I'll come pick up. Why is it the Rod Stewart song is popping into my head? We are sailing. 
you can see the obvious thing I could take out of there and replace. Oh dear. It's crazy how your mind works. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying earlier, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a great old time. I'm learning, I'm doing things differently, it's all brilliant. Why has it not picked up some of that? Not picked up loads of that? Oh, that's good, that can come back. It's leaving loads of this behind. What is happening? Is it because my mower's wider than the pickup? I've never done that before. Track again there. Yeah, it's missing loads. Look at that. I don't understand this. Why is this missing so much? Well, I'll just swing back round and pick it all up. Yeah, well, that's all I can do. Obviously the pickup on this baler is not as great as it should be. Anyway. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to continue. I'm going to bail as much as I can. You'll see me again in a bit when I've got as many bells as I can get off of this. And I don't hit saplings and way through. Why is this not telling everyone? Um, and we'll see how many we've got in this field. And then we'll sort out wrapping, collecting, and then hopefully by the end of the episode, let's sell some and see if I can make a bit of money. It'd be nice to make a bit of money every now and again, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be lovely. So now it's time for wrapping. I've got the Ursus Z586, peanuts to lease. I've made 19 bales. Whether I'll make a profit on 19 bales, I don't know. But the thing about it is, again, it's the proof of concept. Um, I don't know what I'll get for a single silage bale. I don't know what I'll get for eight on a rack. I have no idea. Um, without a WAP store or anything like that, it's impossible to know. I assume once they're wrapped, like it was in FS17, you've got a silage bale. The silage bales are always worth more anyway. Let's take that off. Um, slightly different unload. I'm sure people will tell me you've got to wait, you've got to leave it, they've got to ferment, but there's no way of knowing. How do you... Unless, no, that's field info. That won't work on the, uh, on the bales. So... Don't know. I'm just going to go with it. I'll unload eight at the barn. We'll see what we get paid. <laughs> I just keep chuckling because unfortunately, I, I just, I don't know. And knowing my luck, the way things have been going, I'm never going to make a profit on this. Um, I suppose the thing about it is, not that I'm looking for a quick fix. I'm trying to look at ways I can make money. <clears throat> and... Obviously potatoes I wasn't going to. To make money on potatoes you need massive field. To make it worth buying a harvester or leasing a harvester. You've got to know you're going to make more than the leasing costs. And that was a fairly small field in the last episode. So I suppose it was never going to end well. But this leasing costs all in. What I say it was about 8,000 didn't I? Obviously I bought the mower which was 19. So I've taken a bit of a hit. So if I started at 149, that put me at 130, didn't it? So once I sell the field back, once I sell these bales, if I'm over 130,000, I've made a profit. <laughs> yeah. If I can make... This is a nice, quiet wrapper. If 
Fair enough. Um, I was just thinking of when I used the a couple of the McHale modded ones on FS seventeen, how loud they were. Yes, it's Z five eight six, comfort edition. Yeah, nice and quiet. So what I can do, like I say, once the proof of concept is done, sell the field, once I've cleared it, sell the field back, look for another one that's got grass on it, do some more. Um, and it, again, it comes down to the field flipping, it comes down to any of these jobs. With a, a large enough quantity of product, you're going to make a profit. I'm not at that point yet where I've got a big enough field or fields or anything where I can make a large enough profit on selling one thing. Oh, that's a good point, actually. While we're saying about profit, what are the what's everything going for at the moment? Sunflower is on the rise at seven ten, still not brilliant. Soybean is pretty static, although I haven't got any soybean. What we're talking about? Corn, corn, yeah, poof, nothing major. I need that sunflower up, up around a grand, and then we'll sell that. Just have to look around. <laughs> Trying to think, did I drop any anywhere else? Don't think I did. I'll go around the periphery first, I think. Then I'll head into the middle. So if that auto loader, the Ursus T127, takes eight bales, I'll get two full loads and three left over. This one rolled, so that's why we ended up down here in the the ditch. Whatever works, people, whatever works, that's the thing. I'll try as many different things as I can, as many harebrained schemes as I can possibly fit in. We will, at one point, we are going to fall upon one which makes us money. And I guess when you think about it, we have, since I started, got a second trailer. We've now got a mower. That's it, really, but <laughs> I thought the list was longer than that. Right, well, not many left. I will finish wrapping these and I will see you back here in a little while with the T127. We'll load up eight and let's see where we stand. Now, for any of you that are watching this that have already done bales and silage bales and are sitting there looking at the screen or shouting the screen going, you don't get paid anything, they're rubbish, you're not going to make any money. Don't tell me, keep it to yourself. So I made another decision. I'm full of them today. Um, I decided I shall not bow to peer pressure. I'm not going to do something just because the bigger kids are doing it. I haven't. I haven't leased the T127. What I have done is converted my two Strutmans back to their bail setup. Because I've got them both sitting there, why lease something else when I can do it? And I can do it all in one go, in theory. So, I'm going to disconnect one about there. I'm going to disconnect the other one about here. And this is where things get messy, because I have leased... Let's turn the beacons off. I have leased the bale grab. I thought I would do it with the spike because at the end of the day I'm going to sell them straight away. It makes no difference really. Um, but to be fair, I don't really, I don't use the bale spike, the uh, bale grab very often. I'm awful at it. Um, so, and like I say, we're, we're just, you know, 
let's see how we get on. Um, I always find loading but up bale trailers with a grab like this trickier because when you open the grab back up to let go of it, if there's any other bales on the trailer, it knocks them off, is what I've always found. And that frustrates me massively. So what I'm going to do is kind of put them on and hopefully I'll be able to kind of manhandle them into position. Open that enough that I can just take that away. Perhaps if I lift it up, there we go. That's one. Just 18 more to go. Now I thought I would get eight on each of these trailers, but that may not be the case. I thought, you know, this is a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Okie dokie. Well. Yes, I don't want to hit the other. Oh no. So I mean, right, up. There we go, rather than back. There we go. Hmm. Hmm ha, hmm ha. Right, well. Pretty it's not, but we're going to get the job done. I may catapult some of these across the field, but we will get the job done. Yes, I honestly thought those trailers were bigger. Maybe six, if I just put two on the top, it's going to be, yeah, these are going to be rammed, aren't they? Okay, well. Get them on from the other side as well. Providing they'll strap two. Ooh, that's a wobbly one. So, if I can get that to just go out there. Open that up a bit. Come up. Yeah. Oops. Oops, that was a little bit. So I think I've turned up my... Um... Actually, if I come at this from a slightly different angle... Should be able to open these up a little bit easier. I haven't got a rear weight on the back of this, but seems to be handling it all right. Whoa! Do not hit the bales. Do not hit the other truck. The other. The other. Do not hit the trailer. That would be bad. Okay. Maybe six in here won't be unachievable. Oh, is that going to fall off? Ah. Lift that up and push forward with that. Yeah, it's not great. Let's close that up a bit. So I'll give this a bit of a nudge. Just tippity tap into place. Like so. Okay. Oh, okay. Will these strap? Please strap. Actually, I could do it pushing them right up against there, couldn't I? Well, I'll still get two in the back of there, won't I? Um, yeah, okay. That's not brilliant, but... Is it going over that one or not? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll get the last two on. Then I'll maybe push from the back up again. I don't know. Well, well yeah. Something will present itself. Yeah, six, three more on the top. If I put them in the middle, that'll give me nine. That still means I'm going to be one short. I suppose I could always transport one back and the bail grab, but I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Probably not. So, as long as you're okay for the next 45 minutes while I load these up. Just want to at least get one of these trailers loaded and then the other one I'll do off screen and 
then we'll be good to go. And then we'll sell the field back, pay the loan back off with that money, then we'll know where we stand, and then we can go from there with regard to whether we make any profit. Again, that's kind of the way the episodes are going. I do something idiotic, see if I can make any money doing it. If I don't, I fall further into the depths of despair. And if I do, cake all round. Close there, put it down. Bit of a nudge. Oops. I've got the trailer, haven't I? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah, they're not level, are they? Just realised they're hanging off more one side than the other. But it's on. Let's wrap it while I can. Nope, that's missed. Okay, so I'm thinking one on the top of that one, that one, that one, in the middle. Or, if I push these all up, can I get another one on the back here? I'll have a bit of a fiddle around and I'll see if I can get this one. That strap does not look healthy. Okay, let's unstrap these. I'll have a fiddle around. I'll see if I can get this one fully loaded, how I think it will go, and then we should be alright then for getting them back. Should. Um, how did that one shift over so far? That's weird. Well, they're on. I've got ten on that one. Three there, three the other side, three on top and one on the back. Which means I've only got nine left to connect, collect. So the next nine will go on the other trailer. Three there, three the other side, three on top. That'll be our full 19. Cool. Right, I'll get that one done. Yeah, that top one's going to niggle me. Why has it done that? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just my OCD. It's, it's on, it's not going to go anywhere. Right. Whew, see you in a minute. 19. Loaded up. And ready to go. It's taken a little bit longer than had I used the... Uh, the auto stack, um, the Ursus. I could have probably done the three runs there and back in no time whatsoever, but what's the point? When well, you can have fun doing this, um, and it didn't cost me anything. Well, at least of these, which were about 100 and something, next to nothing. So, first thing I'm going to do, oh, I was worried this wasn't going to pull very well, but the plucky New Holland soldiers on. What a bit of kit. Now, before I get over to the BGA, uh, the, uh, no, the barn, what I'm going to do now is just stop there. Turn off the engine. I'm going to go into my menu, not that one. I'm going to go into this menu. We are going to go to fields. This one here, lands, select, and sell back. Thank you very much for your grass. Uh, and then we're going to repay our loan all the way down. I think we'll end up with what, 130, is that what I said? We start with 149, take off what I bought the mower for. 10, 5, 126. How's that worked out? 
Oh yeah, we leased, didn't we? Of course we did. We leased the uh, baler. That was our our big expense. So we're down to 126. Okay. Well, if all we leased was the baler, I've got to make three grand. Well, we leased the baler, the front, these forks, and the bale wrapper, but so I need to make about four grand, five grand maybe on these. Famous last words. Just so thinking, actually, the blue of that New Holland with the beacons on. It's like a little tractor TARDIS, isn't it? Anywho, um, something else I was going to mention. Has anyone else noticed while you're driving around the map, while you're playing the game, the various different animals that are making their noises? There are a couple of animals that when they make their noises together, it sounds like R2-D2. There's like a high-pitched little chirpy sound, and then this like, mm, in the background. And I know that was terrible, but it sounds like R2-D2. A few times it's happened, and I've kind of grinned and thought, wow, that's really cool. I don't know whether that's intentional or not, but... Eight miles an hour. Nine. We're over the worst. So. Could this be the endeavour that works? Could it be the one? No train coming? No. That'd be great. Chop my bells in half and fling them across the map. Uh, which way shall I go? I'm going to go other way I came. Spin this round. Right, I'm going to see you at the barn. Momentarily. And we'll see what happens. Good things, I hope. Be nice to make some money for a change. I'm glad I chose to do this myself, like rather than use the uh, auto loader, because that would have cost me another three grand. As it stands out at the moment, I've got to make just over four, maybe five. Now I don't know if these are going to sell automatically, or whether I'm going to need to unload them. But we'll drive them through the sell point. What am I making per bale? Not. A, uh, let's. On. Why is that swapping? There we go. Rear trailer. Six hundred and fifty-one per bale. We're up to one hundred and thirty-eight thousand people. We started on well after we bought the. Uh, Port the mower, we were down to 130. So, to be, we've just made eight grand on that, on that whole deal. Now, had I have decided um, to keep hold of, because I, I sent them back, I took them back. I should have kept hold of them, but it was just to test the theory. Had I kept the um, baler, I would have incurred an extra um, hourly leasing fee, but I could have bounced from field to field, just going around, mowing, baling, wrapping and um and selling silage bales that's we've actually made some money <laughs> now in the time it took me to do that could i've done a couple of contracts and made more money potentially but i wanted to try it a different way and we have and it worked and i'm happy i'm smiling again ah <sighs> it's all good and we've now got a new mower out of the whole situation too which is marvelous um and with that we come to the end of this episode uh another wacky scheme and it's kind of worked i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching